defending national champions Ashland University memorializing their accomplishments from last season along with the 2013 national championship squad. Ah, memories. But then there was a real game in everything for the top-ranked Lady Eagles as they had their hands full all night long with the visiting Lakers who would push AU until the final minutes before a 19-9 run by the purple and gold to end the game sailed an 83-67 Ashland victory as the accumulation of their constant intense pressure just became too much for Grand Valley to handle by the end of the night. We have a deep bench and Coach Felix says earn your sub. We go out there, play hard and we know that um, when we come out our sub will come in and do the exact same pickup where we left off. Playing against teams like Grand Valley where they don't have as many subs as we do, uh, we know by the second half that we will be able to run them, slow them down, and uh, hopefully be able to push from there. They're good players. Grand Valley is a good team, and uh, we knew they were going to come at us from all angles and just have to be ready next time to step up to the challenge again. For head coach Robin Freilich, whose Ashland squad extended their Division II record winning streak to 53 straight, that challenge arrives in different forms every single week. So it basically all boils down to players making plays. I mean, the season's long. There's a lot of games and there's all different kinds of styles and types of teams. And Grand Valley's a, you know, they're a great team. They're a great program. And, um, they, you know, they cut it within six. And then I was really proud of the way our team responded. Jody hit a big three and then our defensive pressure picked up and we kind of got back to being who we were. And, and that led us to a number of good consecutive possessions. Undefeated Ashland now moves on to the weekend with a sparkling 16-0 record, next hosting 2-11 Purdue Northwest on Saturday afternoon. For BS Media, I'm Brian Skorotsky. Till next time, kids.